Welcome to Colorado, 47. The militia has taken up HQ at an old apricot farm and appear to be training for a series of coordinated strikes, ranging from cyber attacks to full-blown guerrilla warfare. The Shadow Client appears to unite specialists and radicals from all over the map. Mercenaries and terrorists, hackers and spies joined by an unknown common cause. Satellite scans indicate that the command room is below ground inside an old tornado shelter. Only Rose appears to have access, however, so to get inside, you will need to get creative. This environment is hostile and highly alert, so tread carefully. Good luck, 47. Freak in the mask. Ezra Berg, legendary Mossad operative who specializes in chemical interrogation Talk techniques, just, is here at the compound to interrogate a prisoner. My notes indicate he set up a makeshift drug lab in a garage, and it looks like he's spending a lot of his time in the basement. Could be an opportunity there, 47. Up and run. That is Sean Rose, terrorist turned insurgent. So this test that Rose has planned seems kind of cruel, doesn't it? I mean, I'm no softy or anything, but it feels excessive to me. She's got it coming, and nobody could. See. Penelope Graves is still new to this outfit, and it looks like Rose is going to test her dedication to the cause. He's arranged for one of the communications technicians to act as an outside agent. The tech is supposed know, to show her an Interpol badge and escort her to the slurry pit, asking her to betray uh, the militia. Might sure I suggest a last-minute recasting, right? 47? Yeah, he showed it to me over by the tent. And rehearsed his lines, too. He's taking this pretty seriously. It should be in the clear.
That is Penelope Graves, acclaimed anti-terror analyst. Strange to see her as part of this crowd. She looks a bit out of place, doesn't she? I mean, let's be honest, none of us are exactly God's foremost protective people to catch a thief. Penelope Graves? She seems like a straight arrow. Everyone's got their own reason for being here. Money, excitement, revenge, idealism. Graves is an analyst. She likes systems, patterns and order. She can't stand it that the system's broken. Patterns and order, huh, yeah. She and Rose have something in common. I hear she used to do profiling, catch serial killers. Then she became a counter-terror analyst for Interpol, looking at screens all day, trying to predict the next riot, the next terrorist attack. Yeah. What's her success rate? Scary good, actually. It's just the brass that never listen. Well, I like her. Nice to have a normal person around. So many arseholes in this place. We might reach critical mass and implode. Very true. Penelope Graves. We need guys. to talk. Your... Uh... What is this? I'll explain everything at the slurry pit. It will be in your back to do as I say. I understand. I'll see you there. Yeah. Miss Graves, you are being recruited back into Interpol as an insider. What? I... Who are you anyway? How did you find me? That is not important. Think about this carefully. You could provide us with valuable intel. If you cooperate, the agency will overlook your unfortunate transgression. <sighs> and what if I refuse, huh? If I scream and get the guards here? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Might prove unhealthy. I'll give you a few moments to think about it. Good work, 47. This should give her something to think about. Okay, can you just leave me alone for a few minutes? I've got some thinking to do. I'm sure Rose won't mind. Think, Graves. How did they get to you? Flight out of Lyon under assumed name. 
passport provided through Delgado and that Vanisher guy. <laughs> Look clean. Changed clothes at JFK and again at Denver International. Charred the passport after leaving the hotel. Burner phone was dropped before I left the flight. <laughs> it can't possibly be that. <sighs> Diplomatic car out of Denver. <laughs> Graves is down. Excellent work, 47. Only the best men. You know it.
Good to see you. All right, looks pretty decent. That is Maya Parvati, Sri Lankan assassin turned pirate turned insurgent. I'm back. Well, well, our very own punching bag. Any broken bones? Wounded pride, that's all. Good to hear. All right, head over to the briefing area. We'll resume in a moment. Rose, her body. The point man is back in action. That's your prerogative. Fine, we'll be waiting. Get to it! Burgess is back! We're finally ready to make this happen! I expect you all to know this by heart. But in case amnesia has set in, here's the sequence. Advance to the car with haste. Eliminate the passengers. Retrieve the briefcase. Extract. Got that? And remember, speed and accuracy is the name of the game. All right. Now go pick up your weapons and get in position. Move out! Rose. Parvati, please proceed. Pretend I'm not here. Not a problem. All right, let's go again. On your marks, ready, set, execute. <laughs> motion. You need to be able to pull this off sleeping. Passable. Your point man was spectacular. He'd make an excellent assassin. What yes. is this? Parvati oh. won't know what hit her. Nicely done, 47. Two flies with one swat. Maya Parvati is down. Good work. Look for any intruders, okay? What's up? Okay. Command, something's off here in my sector. Stand by while I investigate.
Huh. Command, we might have a situation. I'll check the perimeter. Over. Got a casualty. Proceeding with caution. You freeze. That is Ezra Berg, former Mossad interrogator. His services are in demand at the moment. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to add a few more drops of the LSD, just to open up the side out. Prep him for a coup de grace. A few drops of the precious red stuff to add a level of docility. Mm. Careful. Don't kill him. All targets taken care of, 47. Now gain access to the tornado shelter. I'm through it right now. Get back to your station.
grunts are here. So you're saying that thing made Ezra Burke's interrogation mask? That's what it does. It's a 3D printer. It prints things in... Wait for it. Free dimensions. I know what it does. I just have a hard time. Who? The guy. The guy Ezra Burke has tied up in the interrogation room. He's one of the enemy's couriers. saw Berg's mask. One of the hackers keeps the facial data on his laptop. Forty-seven. It appears the door to the tornado shelter is protected by a biometric lock. To gain access, you need Sean Rose's body, or something equally convincing. Hi there, Grunt.
Hey, trooper. Apparatus terminated. Hey, you. What's Who are you? How do we look on explosives? Oh, we've got plenty. All right. We so trust in you, Private. Interesting. Oh, right. You were doing that bomb trigger for Rose. How's it work exactly? Yeah, so Rose is building an explosive battery unit for a Link 4 smartwatch. Oh, right, for the next target. It's this Devereaux guy. Right. But Rose wants to control the time of detonation, so I designed this software trigger. Watch by email. Devereaux checks it, the virus infects the watch, triggers the charge, and boom. Well, that is hardcore. Man, these people don't piss about. Yeah, well, still beats working at a bank. I tell you, I found another one yesterday. Whoa, what a shot! Hey, crazy man, stop that. Plot thickens. Someone left in a hurry. Sean Rose was not the Shadow Client. That much is clear. Whoever commands the militia, they got out just in time. Look around, 47. We're getting closer. Someone's done their homework. Look how far it dates back. Hayamoto, Beldingfort, Delvade. The Shadow Client has been tracking you for decades. Now, how is that possible? It isn't. Every one of those missions were branded as unsolved or accidents. He must have been looking for a pattern, a certain M.O., which would mean... He knows me. Well, at least this shortens the list. Some kind of network. Power players. From all sectors. Familiar faces, too. Thomas Cross. Klaus Strandberg, Ether, and that's missing banker Eugene Cobb. Well, well. There's a name. Providence. What? No. No, it can't be. The Hidden Hand. Thought they were a man. A hypothesis, nothing more. The idea that a small cabal of kingmakers, controlling enough corporate and political leaders, could effectively run the world in secret. Maybe not so hypothetical. Keep looking, 47. We need full disclosure. Found something. So does. But that would mean... 
Providence has infiltrated ICA, and Eric Sodas is their operative. Bastard! It all fits! He was the one who persuaded the rest of the ICA board to greenlight this operation. This changes everything. Get out, 47. We got what we came for. What about the Shadow Client? He is no longer our primary concern. ICA has been compromised. I always wondered if Providence was real, but I never actually... I will need to confer with the board, but mark my words, 47. This will have consequences. Rose is gone. It was me, wasn't it? They tracked me. I don't believe it. I took every precaution. Rose knew the risks. They all do. You did well, Olivia. I am proud of you. Now listen. The ICA knows about you. They kept you alive because they needed you, and now they don't. We won't talk again. Not until the storm is over. I don't like it. This man you know what he's capable of. You need to end this now. I ran away as a boy. My friend and I, away from that place. We came upon a small farming community. The people were dirt poor, but this woman, she took us in. We were awakened the next morning by the shots. A dozen people lay face down in the snow. Our warden didn't like to leave witnesses. They shot the woman and her family last. They made sure that we watched the whole thing. This is your gift, the warden told us. Your gift and your curse. Touching lives only by ending them. You know him. Better than anyone. 